The Crash Test Dummies are a Canadian folk rock alternative rock band from Winnipeg, Manitoba T. The band is most identifiable through Brad Roberts and his distinctive bass baritone voice. The band has had fluctuating lineups over the years, but its best known lineup consisted of Roberts, Ellen Reed, Brad's brother Dan Roberts, Benjamin Darville, and Mitch Dorge. The band, widely known for their 1993 single MMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMM
Benjamin Darville became the first dummy to release solo material. Under the name Son of Dave, Darville first brought out the album B. Darville's Wild West Show, followed with O1, both released on Benjamin's own label, Husky Records. Equals post mainstream career, 2000 Euro 2006 equals, the less than stellar commercial success of both A Worm's Life and Give Yourself a Hand resulted in the band feeling much more restricted by their label BMG, especially after the label rejected 35 songs during the production of Give Yourself a Hand. As a result, the band and the label parted ways, and Brad Roberts formed his own independent label Car Ching Records. Free from major label restrictions, the Dummies surprised their fans in 2001 by putting their solo projects on hold for a fifth studio album and tour. After suffering a near-fatal car accident in the fall of 2000, Brad found himself recuperating in the town of Argyle, Nova Scotia. It was there that he met some local lobster fishermen, who happened to be quite musically inclined, Kent Green, Dave Morton, and Danny McKenzie. Together, they recorded the bulk of I Don't Care That You Don't Mind, which was to have been Brad's first solo album. Later on, Ellen was brought in to record backing vocals for a few tunes, and Dan agreed to tour with Brad. When Ellen and Mitch agreed to tour as well, the crash test dummy's name was put on the record. This album saw the dummies returning to their acoustic roots. Brad compared this album to the dummies first, The Ghosts That Haunt Me, though he calls it more atmospheric and polished. Near the end of 2001, some new dummy solo albums were released. First, Ellen Reed launched her debut solo effort, Cinderella. Soon after, Brad Roberts' long-awaited Double Live CD and rock commentary entitled Crash Test Dude were made available through Maple Music. 2002 opened with the surprise of Mitch Dodge's debut album, As Trees Walking. On the CD, Mitch played almost all of the instruments, took some of the photos for the liner notes, and won a Prairie Music Award for Best Instrumental Recording. Brad, Dan, and Ellen returned as crash test dummies at the end of 2002 with Jingle All The Way, a long-rumored Christmas album. In 2003, Puss and Boots was released. Much like I Don't Care, the album began life as a Brad Roberts solo project. Co-written by Stuart Cameron, 13 songs were selected from a pool of 30. Ellen sang backing vocals and Dan played bass, though much of the music, funky grooves that would not have seemed out of place on Give Yourself a Hand, was performed by other musicians. Songs of the Unforgiven, the eighth studio album under the Crash Test Dummies name, was recorded not long after Puss and Boots. Equals hiatus and do la la, 2006 a Euro 2012 equals, after releasing three records through his own label, Roberts realized he was losing money. As such, he decided to stop recording and touring and he laid low in his home of New York City, while working as a songwriting teacher, trying to break into voiceover work and becoming devoted to yoga, chanting and meditation. Despite the hiatus, in 2006 Brad Roberts began to casually record the album that would become Ooh La La with producer and friend Stuart Lerman, using the Optigon and Omnichord. He initially thought that the results of the sessions would just be released via online download. In September, 2007 it was announced that Sony BMG would be releasing a best of compilation for the band. The following month, the best of Crash Test Dummies was released, Featuring 12 tracks selected from the band's entire catalog, including most of their singles and several album tracks. The compilation would later be re released on March 10, 2008, as Best of Crash Test Dummies, collections with two previously unreleased tracks, Laid Back, and You Said You'd Meet Me, the latter being an early version of a song that would later appear on Ooh La La. In addition a new online store was opened allowing users to purchase downloads from all of the band's post-BMG releases, including Cape Breton Lobster Bash series. A growing collection of songs written about Brad Roberts' experiences within Cape Breton and an annual tradition known as the Lobster Bash. On November 11, 2008, Roberts announced in his featured blog on the band's website that he and Ellen Reed are presently recording a new album tentatively titled Toys adding that the other three members of the band are busy with their families and are unable to commute to New York City to contribute. The following day, 
Roberts specified in a subsequent journal entry that he has about 20 songs now, and must pick the best 10. He added Ellen Reed will feature as lead vocalist on one track, which he elaborated on November 18 as achingly beautiful. On November 23, Roberts added that some very accomplished, high-priced players and arrangers have volunteered to play on it for free, just because they think it is extremely unique, and the record is falling into place like a finished crossword puzzle. In July 2009, the title of the album was renamed from Toys to Ooh La La. A fourth song in the Cape Breton Lobster Bash series was released on July 27, 2009. Ooh La La was released on May 11, 2010. The album's release was accompanied by the band touring in an acoustic trio format consisting of Roberts and Ellen Reed, accompanied by either Stuart Cameron or Murray Pulver on guitar. On October 9, 2010, as part of the Canadian leg of the tour, Dan Roberts and Mitch Dorge joined Brad Roberts and Ellen Reed in the band's hometown of Winnipeg for the first performance by the original lineup in a decade. Ben Darville wasn't present for the reunion, despite having played a solo show in town a few days earlier. During the tour, Brad Roberts began the habit of taking photographs at random and posting them on his blog and the band's Facebook page. In 2011, the band continued to tour in support of Ooh La La. On April 19, 2011, the band released Demolitions, cast off recordings 1996 a Euro 97 featuring previously unreleased demos of songs written during the recording of Give Yourself a Hand. In June 2012, Brad Roberts wrote a blog post saying that there is an incomplete new album lying around, but that producer Stuart Lerman is currently too busy with other projects to work on it. Equal second hiatus, solo tour, and side projects, 2015 a Euro present equals, following the completion of touring for Ooh La La, the band went on an indefinite hiatus, as Ellen Reed decided to retire from performing and Brad Roberts began to develop back problems. However, the hiatus was ended when Brad Roberts decided to go on a solo tour in the fall of 2015. Crash Test Dummies also collaborated with DJ and project Mark Mysterio, who released a remix of MMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMM
Songs of the Unforgiven, You La La. Awards and nominations, Grammy Awards, the Grammy Awards are awarded annually by the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences of the United States. Crash Test Dummies received three nominations. Juno Awards, the Juno Awards is a Canadian awards ceremony presented annually by the Canadian Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences. Crash Test Dummies won the 1992 Juno for Group of the Year and received an additional 10 nominations. See also Canadian Rock, Music of Canada References External links, Official Website, Official Crash Test Dummies's channel on YouTube, Crash Test Dummies at the Internet Movie Database, Crash Test Dummies Discography at Music Brains.